Good afternoon guys and welcome, it's Julie Q from Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. It's raining again for a change, <laughs> uh, say for a change, we've just had so much rain, we go from one um, extreme to the other. So, but anyway, in the big scheme of things, we're all good here in Australia. Do Hopefully most of us are doing as we're told and doing the right thing and, and just carrying on doing the best we possibly can. So I'm here to give you guys a bit of light entertainment um, to try and, you know, forget for a while all the things that are going on. So today I'm going to give a little go at, I'm not sure what I'm going to use, whether I use the beads. I'm going to do a bit of this bead pulling, chain pulling. I might do a bit of string. I'm just going to, I don't know, I haven't used this chain before, so I'm not exactly sure what that would actually do. But I suppose I could try it on there. So I'm not sure if I'll do it. I'll go, I'll just get started. I'm doing a few layering these two um, canvases. They're 20 by 25, just two small canvases. I won't, um, I, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm just going to let my uh, creative juices take me wherever. I've just got a little bowl of water to dip my chains into to clean them up after each pour i've got the this is uh, the montmart poster paint that i've made up and put in these containers so i can sort of uh direct the paint a bit more where i choose to direct it so i'm going to give that a go so just bear with me and we'll um experiment together yeah it's just a pity i haven't got your voices there telling me um, what you think should be the best thing I should be doing but um, I haven't so I just have to just give it some trial and error myself I have done a string pull through a um, pour before I, I think I've done a few but I haven't done them for a long time so I thought well now is the time isn't it to re-explore things that you don't do so often give other things a try just you know trying to make it interesting for you guys because I know that some people this is all they've got is to sit at home and um, to watch and then get inspired to create because you can still order online I know uh, online here in Australia my online supplier still um, supplying paint to people so that's a good thing and i believe that um in the us and that amazon and as such are still um supplying maybe a little bit slower because uh, people are relying more so now on um internet so but so yes you can you've got no excuse because you you don't have to actually go out and shop because you can order all your products on the internet and get started and if you've never tried acrylic pouring and you feel you could do this which i know that you definitely could do this give it a go because it's so rewarding so much fun and you do get some lovely pieces if if you're persistent and just keep plugging at it some people are brilliant at it straight away. Okay, so I've used the Montmartre Studio Acrylics for the bases and every, my pouring medium recipe and my products are all below in the drop down box. Everything is there, there's beginners recipes, all sorts for you. So I've put them there. I'm, these are the Montmartre poster paints and I've just mixed them the same I just squirted some of my PVA glue until I got a consistency that I was happy with just not sure if they may have gone a bit um, 
thick in this particular bottle I'm not sure but that looks pretty good actually I think I like it without doing anything to it there you go so I might keep with the sort of colors that will boom with the black so that that was the got the beautiful gold and this is fluoro orange what's happening here these look pretty nice without doing anything to them they're just so simple aren't they if you want to do um, abstract art there you go you don't really have to have any huge talent you just have to want to achieve something with it so I might put some turquoise in there yeah the, the these particular uh, poster paints, like I said, I think you get 500 mils under $6. And they're great for most things. You can, once you put a pouring medium in them, you can do most things with them. You can, I mean, I love dipping with the poster paints. I think the dips come out the actual best than any other paint. Um, yeah so they're lots of fun and they're cheap so this is the fluoro purple so i'm gonna i'm not sure where i'm gonna go with this now whether i'm gonna put a chain through it or not having so much fun just squirting 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 so that's the purple that's the red so yeah, if you go onto the online store here, you'll see all the colour range. They've got so many colours in these poster paints. And if you're just starting and you don't want to spend too much money because you're not 100% sure whether you're going to uh, like it, then it's a very good uh, place to start with the poster paints. And once you've actually mixed uh, PVA glue with the poster paints they essentially become acrylic because you're adding the glue oh look at that who'd have knew who'd have knew I wonder if I was going to put the chain and follow that but I'm not sure whether I want to actually do that now uh, okay I'll just try it on this I'll see if I can lay the chain Oh, not guaranteeing if I can lay the chain in the exact position. I can hear my husband's car. Oh no, that might be a plane coming. As you know, once I start pouring, somebody from the family always seems to make an appearance not very good at these are these little beads i just get them off the online supplier cabriole shabby chic they've got all sorts of things they've got some great uh, transfer decals things that you can put on some poured painting that i'm going to have a go with in the next couple of weeks oh my goodness i don't know what to do with it now here we go let's just try it folks let's just not stress over it that's what this should be about not stressing oh maybe I should have gone back up the other way yeah it's just a fun thing for you to do and you could do it with your children you've got your children home and god knows and I know that the parents are going a bit crazy with uh, knowing what to do to keep children entertained so it must be hard and the fly lands on my finger oh my goodness might go back down this way with this one ooh where are we well that's pretty that is pretty I mean very simple I'm getting it over all my good stuff well my clean stuff so I'm gonna just pop the beads into some water so obviously reuse them again 
Pretty, I like it. Very simple, but it's very effective. Didn't touch that one there. I could either place the beads and go back over that, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, 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 gonna try these big heavy beads now. I'm not sure whether I should do a complete swipe down. Shall I try it? Oh, look at those colours. Okay, that's a little bit messy. But give me a second, I will work with it. Where's the smaller ones again? I'll go with the smaller ones. Oh yes, it's abstract. <laughs> it's definitely abstract. Okay, where was those? Just put that in the water. Might just put my heat gun on it and see what I'll come up with. Yeah, that went a little bit messy. I could have done something a little bit better with that. I liked it as it was actually. But just the heat ones, my wonder wand, I love it. Brings up some nice effects in the paint. don't really want to do much to that because I do like it. This one I'm not particularly fond of. So I will run it through again. It's definitely beneficial putting your uh, paint in these if you want to direct the paint, you know, where you want it to go definitely beneficial so these little bottles were sent to me from that company love life so they, they supply the silicon mats they sent them to me for me to try along with the silicon mats which have worked out good but because I do prolific pouring I haven't always got one available for every pour because I've only got two and then you've got to have a place for them to dry out or you can quite easily scrape the paint off them okay what do I want to do with that let's try the do I want to go just dragging it Definitely abstract. Not sure if I should have done this in a... I haven't watched any of these videos recently of the feathering of this. I've seen them come up on my feed, but I haven't taken the time because I've been busy doing my own thing. And I do like to work things out myself most times. Um, but that's just me. So it is quite fun and I could imagine that your children will like doing these kind of things with you. So if you're bored, or your children are bored should I say, absolutely give that a go. I'm not going to go any further with that because I think I'll just end up... That one I absolutely love it, I really like that. I'm just going to, of course I'm going to get my little water balloon, which children love the little it's just a small balloon it's just a normal size balloon that I put over the tap and fill a little bit of water so it gives it that bit of weight I'm just gonna see what a, a balloon kiss in here does ooh I would think it would give it some nice that's nice <laughs> let's punch it into the negative space see what we come up with So I am absolutely sure the children would enjoy doing this under adult supervision obviously because it's paint and it's using a torch and 
well mine is a heat one so I suppose that's a lot safer but I think I really need to play with this because I'm not liking what I did with it but the obviously the balloon kisses can save the world I reckon balloon kisses save the world so there you go that's not too crash hot but I'll work with it I don't really want to do anything to that I will only just for the sake of this video give it a balloon kiss to see if it turns out doesn't really do anything to that because there's probably not enough paint to let's give it a balloon kiss from here hey let's see what a balloon kiss off the pretty pretty all good let's see what take a bit more paint off there and pop it on there very dainty and butterfly looking okay that was a little fiddle about not happy with that one so I will probably start again with that one love this one I really do it's simplistic but it's very effective I'll give you a bit of a close-up to see what you think oh yeah there you go okay guys just a little bit of something for you to have a go at love the white one really do really like that simply stick it's gorgeous um i really like that the black one not so happy with but i'll give it i'll work with it and if um, anything special comes of it there'll be photos on at the end of this video thank you so much for joining me um i wish you all to stay calm and just create uh, support your favorite youtube artists because many of them obviously uh, families have lost jobs so this is a way of you know helping support youtube artists if you can keep watching their channels um it keeps you know it keeps them some money coming in where the rest of the family might not have any money coming in so trying to think of everybody here so thank you guys for subscribing if you haven't already done so please do so i appreciate every single one of you and I'll have another video up for you pretty soon. So stay safe, guys, and watch out for the dry photos at the end. Bye for now.